Today we have a really big update, another update, coming from the courtesy of VWoods. VWoods is one of those companies that a little bit scoots under the radar and deserves a little bit more attention. We have had tons of companies in the past like iReader and YBan and HiRead that just don't get enough spotlight. And here at Goody Reader, it's our entire job to give these companies spotlight out of pocket because really these things are built gorgeously. The VWoods is the thinnest device on the market. It's made out of glass on both sides, an aluminum block, has a great pen. It's really hitting all the right marks and definitely deserves to be a little bit more front row in the world of premium e-readers and e-notes. So today we're gonna dive in and look at what this latest update has to offer. Before we get going on the visual change log portion of this update video, we need to look at something that VWood focuses on that not a lot of manufacturers do. And we actually didn't include a lot of this in our main review since we released it, calendar, of which they call daily. This is one of the most robust calendars in the game. In fact, there's only a few players that give scheduling and calendars any love, and VWoods is one of them. Everything is organized, everything is clear, every document you open, every book, every note you write, you can automatically synchronize, organize, and categorize it by date. This is really nice because nothing gets lost. A lot of manufacturers, when you write something down or jot something down, it stays in the respective area or zone, but everything gets categorized and logged into the daily. They also have a calendar integration for synced schedules, so if you have Google or Microsoft Outlook, all of your alerts on those platforms will show up on your VWoods, granted you use this device that much. Anyways, on to the changelog. OneNote. Typically, and I'm gonna say this right now, OneNote is bad on ebook readers. Onyx tried to do it, BigMe kinda does it, it's not 100%. Let's see how this is. That is amazing! Seriously, if you go back and you look at our YouTube channel, a lot of OneNote introductions, this is really cool. I don't see, wait a minute, I don't see any latency. There's a little bit of chopping there, but that's the application, not the actual device itself. It's, this is working. The eraser prospectively works too. Okay, well, there you go. OneNote does seem to work. Let's change it up and do some different pens. See if we can do a highlighter. Wow. This is quick. This is the fastest we've seen OneNote. BigMe kind of does OneNote as well, but what they do is they do global handwriting, which means you can take notes on top of anything you see on the screen, but it utilizes the device's engine, whereas this is interactable with the application itself. This is phenomenal. In terms of the third-party cloud integration, as we've showed you, it has one-click synchronization, so you click that, it automatically syncs everything, and it allows importing cloud-stored files into the device itself. WLAN transfer, very simple. Go over here, top drop down, click on WLAN transfer, type that into your browser, and it will show up with this, same URL. You have access to all of your things, paper, daily, writing, learning, all your stuff right there. It'll be the same on here, and you can transfer between locally. The learning application adds support for Mobi and AZW file formats. Furthermore, you get text highlighting. Now, it's actually not done from the highlighter pen. If you do that, it just makes a line like that, but it just works anywhere. What you actually have to do is click on the text selection, in which case, from there, you can do your highlighting. Subfolders. I really like this one. So for example, we made folder number one. If you click on here, you'll see this is folder number one. You can create a note. You can also create a folder within a folder. Now you might think, well, this is pretty elementary, folder within a folder. Yeah, but a lot of devices don't have subfolders. You can go into there, create a new folder, and your chain will continue for as many as you'd like. Notes from paper and meeting can now be linked to specific dates in the calendar or daily. What you would do is click on the three dots, say associate with daily, and you can choose the exact date specifically you want it to be associated with, not just the date that you are working with. 
The top bar has been optimized, all the touch boxes and everything feels much more secure and exact, and you have different views. So you can do weekly, you can do daily, in the daily, and whether you are in monthly or weekly, you now have the ability to synchronize. You don't have to go back to a specific view each time to do that. The synchronization button exists blanket. The mailbox now accepts logins from Microsoft 365, Google Workspace, etc. And you can see right here, you can add an existing email account or you can go to manual setup, which you can do IMAP, POP3, or coming soon, Exchange. Please write me something to show my audience. Now when you click export, you'll see that not only TXT shows up, but HTML formatting shows up as well. The home screen has some changes as well, most notably introducing a third party cloud synchronization button. That would be this one right here. When you click on it, if nothing is synchronized, it'll ask you to log into your Google Drive, your OneDrive, etc. And at the bottom, it says ready to sync. So all you would do is log into that and all of your documents get synchronized. As you can see right here, our OneDrive with my information has been synchronized and everything will be under here respectively. So you'll have instant access to whatever service you choose to integrate. Add to home. If you're under the application section, you can now long press something and click add to home. When you click on that, it'll add it to the home screen. You go back to the home screen and there's your OneNote under applications. The VWoods file app has been added to the left right above the community tab. You can click on here and this will give you access to VWoods files. You have my files or anything in the cloud drive. Although they still call it daily, which doesn't quite translate to the North American crowd, they give you access to looking back through three months of history. All you have to do is swipe forward and back and you get 90 days of historical information. All you have to do is click on it like that and it'll take you directly to the calendar. They have added two things to the dropdown. You have WLAN, which is wireless local area network transfer, and you have memo. Memo is really cool because you can bring it up, jot something down really quick and simply get out of it like so. A lot of spec heavy devices have this one, anti-aliasing. You won't notice it immediately, but it is a system wide feature. Anti-aliasing basically makes things more smooth instead of having jagged edges, if it was off, it'll become a lot more smoothed out and feathered, so it'll look higher quality. Things like straight lines doesn't really matter too much, but the curved portions of the straight lines, anti-aliasing does take effect. V-Transfer web version. So you'll have to go to your PC, laptop, or smartphone to get this, but don't worry, it is very accessible. You'll see that you have some additional login information. So that's our email, peter at goodyreader.com. Feel free to drop a line if you wish. There's different levels of expiration. So you can set your files to expire in X amount of time. And there's also some redefined web interaction logic things that are happening in the back end that we can't really see that have been introduced to a allow seamless transfer between this and the device that you are linked to. The VWoods honestly does play with the big boys when it comes to premium products. There's just really nothing that this leaves out in terms of being a productivity solution device. It even has all of the ability to sideload applications, to use different pens. It, it has all the ingredients of a top level device. So we hope videos like this where we do these periodical update updates videos for you guys gives you an idea of the culture behind the device itself and the team that is keeping it going. We do see some manufacturers release some devices and then they don't support it. They really just kind of leave it to the end consumer to craft their own experience and it's just that's the device in and of itself. But these guys keep you updated, actually go above and beyond to give you constant updates. So we don't hit up every update on these guys, but the big ones we definitely catch up on. If you guys want to see any more on the VWoods, hit up goodyreader.com. Thanks for watching.